Okay, so we just finished a um, training, a board and train with your puppy, Coco. Mm -hmm. How old is Coco? About a year and a half old. About a year and a half, yeah. Mm -hmm. Super cute puppy. I really had fun working with him. So um, maybe you could just share um, what made you decide to do a board and train with him? Uh, what made us decide to do it was that we were having some difficulties with like leash pulling um, him barking and other dogs, um, lunging, um, what's the other word? Uh, him not listening Listen. and distractions. Okay. And so he's been here, um, for 14 days. Mm -hmm. And in that you guys got to take a nice little trip someplace. And so it was nice to be able to to double do, have him in training while you went on a little vacation. So that was nice. We just took him outside and we did um, some training in the cul-de-sac. How do you think he responded? He responded really well. Big difference than before, definitely. Um, we were able, were able to um, walk him without the leash, um, have him stay in one place, and then you know have him come to us walk it for a distance which we couldn't do before um he did pretty well he and there was some distraction there was some people in and out of their garage um and there was some squirrels and uh, yeah squirrels and birds and so how did you think he felt when when you were working with him how did you how did that feel uh he was extremely responsive uh he kind of phased out whatever was going on around him and listened to us yeah how'd you like that healing I was I never would have expected him to do that because normally on walks he is constantly pulling on the leash as far as he can go because he wants to go. Yeah, and now he comes right in there. So mm -hmm. when you call him from a distance, he just comes right back to heel position. I thought that that was something that was really kind of special for him. I thought he did really ph phenomenal job. So yeah. um, we also talked about uh, the transition and how you're going to transition him home. Do you feel that that's going to be easy for you, the transition? Or are there any areas that you feel that we didn't cover? Um, I think it'll be easy. Yeah, we're just going to have to be mindful of that because that's, you know, not the routine. We're going to have to make it the new routine. So exactly. It sticks. Yeah. And so um, please make sure you get him out. He just really loved to do field trips. He And people loved him. And he loved loving people love him. <laughs> <laughs> And he did really well. You know, he would sit politely um, for people, and he just walked nice, and he was really fancy with his little bow tie. Everybody yeah. kind of got a kick on that Perfect and stuff like that. <laughs> he really was. We also opted to use a remote collar. How did you feel about that? At first, I was weary about it, but then when you showed us the collar, I was uncomfortable with it. Yeah. Uh, especially, I know that's not going to hurt him. Um, but he seems to respond to that well, very good as well. Yeah. So, um, thank you. I can't tell you. He was really a fun dog to work with. Very smart little guy. Very cute. Very cute. Yeah. And like I said, I mean, people were like, oh, you know, we'll adopt him. And I was like, oh, no, he's no. not for adoption. <laughs> and I, people were just like, just, yeah, just so, so charmed by him. Uh, and he's just so polite. So it was just really great. Um, so thank you. Well, thank I really you. had that. So yeah. Give us a whole new dog with the same dog at the same time. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. It's kind of cool, isn't it? It is. We're very 